Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Leaf! Yesterday, we went to go see KK for the final time, and we also, unfortunately, said goodbye to Stinky. Today, we're gonna be checking our mailbox, and yes, we have the letter from Stinky. Well, well, Emil, moving day has finally come. To be honest, I'm a little uneasy. Do you think there's a good gym in my new town? What if my rival is better than me? Aw, oh, man, a determined Stinky. Aw. Uh, it's sad. I never really did get to hear the story of his name, you know, why his parents named him what they named him. It's a sad day when you don't get to hear those types of things. And from Red's Gallery, of course, we have a new painting, All Sales Final. I believe I already have that painting, but oh well, I'll just hang on to it in case someone else wants it. And, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything going on today. How about we check the plaza? We haven't actually checked the plaza together in a while, so let's see if there's anything up there. We had red yesterday. Do we have anything going on up here today? No, it doesn't quite look like it. Oh, well. Okay, um, well, if we have nothing going on up here, I say we go over to Town Hall and we see what it looks like, because... Uh, wait, dig spot. Wow, that would be a really good place to take a pitfall, actually. I didn't even notice that was there until I'd already run over it. I would have definitely fallen in if that was a pitfall. Okay. So off to Town Hall we go. I have to say, it feels good to kind of walk around town a bit. Unfortunately, it's snowing today, so we're not going to get to see the Reset Center for yet another day. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't mean to keep getting distracted. I'm sorry if this is bugging you guys, but I want to talk to Molly. Hey, Bot. I don't know how you feel about the snow, but I love it, Quackity. Oh, I do too. So, what can I do for you? Are you going to another town by any chance? See, I'm in the middle of collecting signatures for my petition of Scamper to Victory. If you do visit another town, how about collect some signatures for me? Uh... I unfortunately don't think I'll be able to visit another town before the end of the day, at least not on screen. But I think I'll accept this petition all the same. Just because I feel like off screen I could probably do that. You need to get six signatures from another town and bring it back to her within the same day. I'll probably do this if I find the time and I'll take a photograph of it just to kind of show what it's like. And I don't get why it can't be signatures from the same town if she wants to do something in this town, but hey, Nintendo logic. Anyway, welcome to our new town hall! There is the flag! It is on this little tiny flimsy flagpole. I'm so sorry to the person who designed that because it used to be standing tall high above the, uh, high above the town hall, but it's not really my call to make. Looks really nice. It's the exact same on the inside, so it's not really necessary to show that, but what is necessary to show is Pietro, of course! Nice cup of fizzy water. Oh, wow! He's talking about having fizzy water and he's a clown. <laughs> That's cool. To be honest, I'm bored of the snow shirt in my room. What do you mean you're bored of the snow shirt in your room? You asked for that for Christmas! I broke my back to deliver- I, I mean, Santa broke his back to deliver that for you. Totally out of style and dull- You ass! Looking for replacement furniture. He wants a one space big item to replace the snow shirt we gave him. What do we got? Uh, mini plankoid, mini lamentoid. You know, I want you to have this mini lamentoid because that just. I'm lamenting this. The fact that you are giving back your Christmas present just because you feel like, oh, it's so dull and out of style a whole four days after I got it. All right. Gonna make routine so much similar to choreograph. Wow, what kind of clown is he? Does he like dance and stuff like that? Wow, um Damn. Also, I just noticed his hooves are red. I like how he's got like red like clown shoes. Uh yes, what is your thanks to me? Furniture item, okay. A modern wood closet. A dear gift, my friend. Thanks, Emil. Okay. Uh wow. Uh, since when is Pietro such a jerk? Uh, well, to be fair, he doesn't know that I'm that I was Santa that night, so I guess it's not really too unusual for him to say something like that. Um, what did I want to do? Oh, right! I was getting a lot of people telling me that I need to put on Majora's Mask, so I'm gonna do that really quick, just because people were just like, come on! Like, I know you have the hat, though, but that was kind of the thing. I didn't want to take this hat off too soon. I'm probably gonna go into the museum to get immortalized once again. Um, I don't think I ever said that. Actually, I don't think I ever said this. So what am I saying once again? I know that you can't visit my museum exhibits if you're visiting uh, through the Dream Suite, which is kind of lame. So I probably will make a note to show it again, like once I have finalized what that area is gonna look like. But I think that pretty much does it. I think I'll go around and do the routine stuff. I haven't said routine in a little bit. I've been saying routine type. And uh, let's put on Majora's Mask. I love the use of shadow on it, like how you turn away and like a bunch of it goes into shadow. Ah, oh, it's so cool. All right, see you guys in a bit. So while I was looking around and also when looking at comments yesterday, I saw that we have a lost item here on the beach. Yes, we need to go and find this because Bajora is a kind soul and... 
Majora's pockets are full. Even Majora herself is not greater than the 16 item limit that is present in this universe. It turns out it was Egbert. It's awesome you found it, even though it's probably soggy because it's been on the beach for two days in the snow. <laughs> Thanks for returning my stuff to me, Emil. Here, please take a fall leaf tea for your trouble. Ooh, okay. Even though my mother gave me this monkey shirt, I think I might switch clothes now. Let's see how well this matches my Majora's mask. Here we go. Uh, I... I'm in Egbert's presence, so I'll say I like it, even though I think you guys can hear my tone just fine. Oh, Molly wanted to stop me. She has an idea for a public works project. Of course you may tell me. Everyone talking about having a lighthouse. Oh, yes, the lighthouse is one of my favorite looking ones. You bet I want this. Okay, um, lighthouse doesn't do this in this Animal Crossing game, but in previous ones, uh, actually I think it was just the first one, Tortimer, the former mayor of town, would ask you to take care of the lighthouse for two weeks in his stead, typically during January or February. If you remember to go to the lighthouse every night for 14 days, you could actually go inside it and turn on the lights each night. By doing all these things, he would give you a special reward. And it's kind of a shame this isn't there, though, because anymore, though, because it's a nice little detail that I liked, and the lighthouse was just always sort of there, though, but the fact that after playing long enough, you could just go inside it, I always thought that was really, really cool. But that's only in the first Animal Crossing game, like I said. So I've been waiting to talk about the lighthouse. I'm glad that I get to share that, because I do have fond memories of doing that, even though I think the first time I did it, I failed to do it every single night. Ugh. While we were here at the museum, I decided to update things a little bit. I added the balloon hat to the museum exhibit, I added the Santa beard, and I added the Team Magma hood. Now, I want to do something else with the Santa beard, actually. Um, I do still have the suit, I do still have the pants on and the boots on. I have all those things, and there are something I want to do with those items, but unfortunately, I don't have the proper stuff to do that with yet. And like I said, I am still working on the pedestals. There is another type of pedestal that I want for certain items, and it still hasn't appeared in the store yet, so that's kind of why I've been dragging my feet with that, because some of them look good under glass, other ones I kind of would want to display without the glass, and it's a totally different item to not have the glass, so... Again, I apologize for this taking so long. It's not I don't have any control over what the store stocks each day. I wish I did. When you visit other people's towns, if their Nook Homes has an item you want, you can have it ordered into your Nook Homes. And I wish you could do that with other items as well. But for the most part, only one item is for sale per day from each store, regardless of how many people visit the town, unlike Nook Homes. Oh, Sable, it's something new to say. She was saying how nice of you to pay us a visit on a Sunday, too. What? Who, me? Hehe. <laughs> I'm the happiest to work here, don't you know? Plus, I gotta chit-chat with our customers sometimes. Aw, so she had something new to say, finally. For those that have been telling me that I should keep talking to her each day and just say, no, I don't want to use the sewing machine, I do still talk to her most of the time. I, I do try to remember to talk to her still. I don't, you know, I think I've only forgotten a couple times. But it's just that she only had something new to say now out of all the times that I've come and talked to her, so that is awesome to see. But that pretty much does it for the daily routine. I didn't see anything else that I wanted to show anywhere else, so I will meet you guys over at Town Hall because... I want to talk to Isabel. We're going to go public works projects because I think I want to build that lighthouse that Molly was saying she wanted built in town. However, before I do anything else, you might know that our time is running short. I don't mean to keep bringing this up again and again, but it is relevant to a lot of things that we're doing. And I would like to show that there are a few public works projects that we never built. We never built a suspension bridge, a water well, a fence, a face cutout standee, and a do not enter sign. Those are the only public works projects we have never built, and through hashtag Chugga Crossing on Twitter and Facebook, I would like for you to decide what should be our final public works project and why. Give a witty reason, give a funny reason, give a crazy reason, whatever. Whatever amuses me the most gets it. That'll be our final public works project. But for now, I'd like to start work on the Vital Lighthouse project because I am sure that our coast is all banged up and the cliffs look all uneven because we've had so many boats just crashing into the dang place. I mean, heck, Gulliver washed up on shore a couple times already, so let's go. Whoa, it is crowded out here, jeez. Okay, what's gonna be next? Uh, where should it go? Of course, you can put it anywhere you want, though, but along the coast is where it really looks best. Let's see, where is there a place where there's not a whole lot? Uh, what about near the corner? That way it's kind of doing, you know, double duty, I guess. Uh, what about... Uh, what about... Uh, right about here? I think it's pretty good. The colors match the roost as well, so I'm pretty I'm pretty content with this. Let's build it right here. Of course, I need to go get my bells. Um, 
meaning that we gotta go up to Main Street, but who's to say that I should cut that out? You know, we gotta spend a little bit of time together, and I feel like we should go see Dr. Shrunk's performance for the day. So let's see, what fruit are we gonna give him? Whatever I see first. Okay, he's getting a nice palette peach, I suppose. Uh, I should mention, uh, in terms of getting perfect town status, I've had some people point this out to me. I meant to say this in my video when I was going over perfect town status. Seashells on the ground, as well as fruit on the ground, do not count towards your items on the ground that can take away your perfect town status. So, your limit of 10 items, you are unaffected by seashells and fruit. So you don't have to worry about shaking trees too much and maybe forgetting a few. You don't have to worry about picking up the seashells every time you go down to the beach. Nothing like that. As long as it's a seashell or a fruit, you know, something that's naturally growing in the town, you don't have to worry about it being on the ground or anything like that. Hello, Shrunky Poo. I seem to like calling him that, even though that's very disturbing. Yes, I brought a snack. I brought you a peach. A peach. Don't mind if I do. Whew, that was quite satisfying. Well, thanks a bunch. I should probably return the favor, shouldn't I? Shouldn't I? Hmm, then how about I tell you a really good joke today? All right, I have to get ready first. You just wait here a second. All right. Let's see if Dr. Shrunk's jokes today is actually good. God, I look like I'm wearing like a caveman tunic in this friggin' shirt. My sneezing joke is that something that cure what ails you. Wait, you're going to, unless you, it ails you with sniffles? Oh, I was about to say. My guy tells me when he sees it means someone is talking about you. I used to be pretty popular back in the day, so I got used to people talking about me here and there. It doesn't really happen since I retired, though. Achoo! Huh? Could it be that someone out there is talking about me? Achoo! See? They must be. Uh-oh. Maybe it's hum my human allergies coming back in. He's allergic to humans? Wow. <laughs> I wonder if there really is such a thing. I heard about a woman, um who was allergic to water and like she had to like limit like her water intake and take medication with it. I've also heard of like a lady that was allergic to cell phone signals, which I would say that in this world, in this day and age, cell phone signals and water are pretty much the absolute two worst things you could be allergic to. But I don't know, can you be allergic to humans? I don't know, like, I mean, we shed our skin, you know, completely over the course of 30 days. You know, a lot of dust is produced by, uh, uh, by our bodies, so I don't know. But I, I would think that that's gradual enough that it wouldn't really set off any really sensitive allergies. Um, I don't know. We do give off a slight odor. I, suppose. I don't know. I, I, I can't really think of anything that would cause allergies to humans at all. I mean, I'm sure that there's something out there and I'm going to have somebody tell me that I'm wrong. I don't know. I guess maybe if you bathe using a certain soap or maybe like if you use a certain shampoo or something like that. I don't know. Uh, snowball. I haven't seen one of these all day, so I'm going to try to build another snowboy. Uh, my fault for running. All right, let's do this. And I can see Pietro and Biscuit talking right there. Oh, so close. I was almost a perfect snowboy. Little these little matter, making the head the right size of my body. Shouldn't complain. You did bring me life, right? That was a pretty cool thing to do. Uh-oh, I'm not going to get an item, am I? And hey, they're both really happy. What's going on? You're always so peppy, Emil. There's all snow keeping you on your toes, Unicycle. Uh, what's up, Pietro? I've heard rumors that you're a social butterfly. I'm so jealous. I wish I could be involved with some scandals just to have people talking about me. Ha! Yes, I haven't gone over that yet. Um, there are many different things that you can be rumored to be by villagers in your town. And I have not yet gone into detail about this. I just I kind of thought it was something that you guys could pick up on. But just because it's kind of showing up now, I would like to, you know, kind of show like what the different titles are and what they mean. It just sort of gives you an idea of what you're doing and not doing when you're playing the game. It's cleaning it before. It's not much trash or weeds, and the air is really fresh. Pretty sure it's all because of the ordinance you put in place, dog. Aw, okay, so he appreciates the ordinance we put in place. That's really cool. All right. Well, uh, we saw Dr. Shrunk's show. We went around town and we got to know the animals better. And wait a minute. I forgot to get the bells for the lighthouse off of Main Street. Crap. Okay, with Drew a whopping 300,000 bells, and uh, yeah, we'll be able to do this. I was a little worried that I just barely didn't have enough, but seems I do. There you go. Lloyd, and we have 372,000 bells paid towards it. Here we go, and my phone goes off. Damn it, cell phone, you spoil the freaking celebration. Awesome, the project donation goal has been met. Uh, why is my cell phone going off? Ugh. Okay, it's my fault for not muting it. My fault for not putting it in another room. My fault for doing not doing a multitude of things. I need to keep calm. I need to keep calm. Wow, I sound like a maniac, like a deranged maniac when I talk like that. Jeez. All right. 
Some of you were saying that the patchwork lamp doesn't really belong in this house, and that maybe we should give it to Pietro, and I think I do agree. I'll need to make sure to write him a letter pretty soonish. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of interior decorating to do. I never used the dotted rug yesterday, and I do want to show. It matches our wallpaper pretty nicely, and it matches this gold table in the middle as well. Plus, I do kind of like the red and the uh, yellow we got going on here, so I'm a pretty big fan of this. I think I'll stick with it. Uh, what else do we got? We got the Slim Nebula, I got some gyroids to- Okay. Got some gyroids I'd like to show. Ooh, the Slim Nebula is really cool looking. The Plinkoid also would fit up ni nice upstairs in the jingle room. Okay. So, I have some, uh, decorating that I want to do. But while I am doing said decorating, there is a comment that I would like to read that really impressed me. Um, the something that I meant to read a few days ago, unfortunately it no longer fits in with the so-called canon of our town. But at one point, it was really, really good, and it actually stringed together all the events that had happened in town really well. It reads as follows, and it comes from a user by the name of James Peroni. Here are my thoughts on Shari and her evil plans. Shari arrives in Pallet. Over the next few days, Shari begins plotting something. The mayor of Pallet then suddenly disappears for a few days, when Chugga was sick. So now is the perfect time for Shari to put the evil plan to, into action. While enacting her evil plan, Shari is discovered by another resident of town, that resident being Amelia. And Shari has no choice but to dispose of her using the item closest to her, which happens to be an exotic lamp, and dumps the body in the river. She then fakes a letter to the mayor from Amelia, claiming that Amelia has moved away. Having taken care of the immediate threat of being discovered, Shari realizes it's too risky to do whatever she's planning to do at the current moment in time, and decides to lay low for a while. The mayor returns to town. Shari needs a way to get rid of the murder weapon, the exotic lamp, so she loads it up to the mayor himself, hoping that he'll sell it without it on without a second thought. Still paranoid about being found out, Shari decides to skip town, to, but to avoid suspicion, she tries to nonchalantly tell the mayor first. He asks her to stay, and she is forced to agree. Doubt further grips Shari's mind when the thought occurs to her that Amelia's body might wash up downriver. She checks the beach, but no sign there. She needs, a st she needs to study the river and make sure there is no chance of the body being found, so she asks the mayor to get her a river fish. Shari's sinister plot continues. <laughs> okay, I found that really amusing, and even though we saw Amelia yesterday, so that kind of does make that fall apart, for the time that this was written, which was on Day 31's comments, I found that infinitely amusing and just such an awesome observation of everything that has happened so far. So I just kind of had to read that, and I don't think I want to go to bed up in the jingle room, even though I really do like the jingle room. I have never slept in the ice room so far, and I do have a bed in it, so I think that's going to be where we go. All right? Tomorrow on Animal Crossing New Leaf, I may or may not have the results for our final public works project, but we will have a new lighthouse to look forward to. Also, I should mention off-screen, I probably should have shown this, though, but I just kind of felt like we've seen it enough times. I did pay off my loan to Nook. We're going to be getting another room tomorrow. So, see you guys tomorrow.